hello guys welcome back once again today we are going to learn that how to configure interfaces in palo alto firewalls though i have already configured and i have multiple labs for it this okay but i want to show you that how to configure it in the lab environment basically in the avng setup so i will show you the topology creation in the AVNG, but actually the interface configuration in the Palo Alto firewall and that's how we basically do in the uh, production environment. There's no difference in that. So let me create a lab here. Name I'm giving as a Palo Alto basic. It's okay. And uh, now let me add our Palo Alto firewall and image is fine that's all set just i will put save so that's how it is our firewall and uh, just to access this firewall via gui i will add one windows machine here okay and uh, let me add one more machine here let me add a cisco router And here I will add one more module like this. Let me clear this one. That's how we go. And this is basically a router uh, this way, or let me put it this way. And now we will create a link, create a link. So I'm creating a link from the Ethernet one slash one of the Palo Alto firewall to our Windows machine of E0 interface. Save it and uh, save it again with the router. I want to take one slash one interface. All right. That's okay. Um, let me start this machine. So either you can right click here and you can start select it or another option is you can go to more op options here and select start all nodes so it will start all the nodes okay just to save the time i have made this link here this one and i have labeled these ip addresses here but these are not configured we will configure on the firewall interface and we sell as well as on the other machines so let's do it quickly Uh, let me log in it. So first we will change uh, the interface mode to the static. So the command for that one, basically first we will go to the configure mode and then we will give the command set device config system type as a static. So earlier it is in the dynamic mode. Now we set it the static first and uh, now we will give this IP address 10.1.1.1 to this firewall. All right. So set device config system IP address as 10.1.1.1. And for the subnet mask, we don't have to give like this 2424 or directly space 255.255.255.0 as we do in the Cisco. Here we have to give the keyword as net mask, then we give the subnet mask. All right, just hit enter, get out of this mode and give the command as commit. So now this uh, changes will be in effect on the firewall. Meanwhile, let me check our uh, Windows machine here. What is the IP address here? So seems like it is already there. Let me check again. So yeah, 10.1.1.10 uh, .1 IP address is already here. So we don't have to make any changes on the machine. If there are have to changes, you know how to do on the Windows machine. These are quite obvious. All right. So let's make sure that the commit has been done successfully yeah it has committed successfully now open a browser here all right and just hit 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. 
one that was the management IP address of our firewall. Uh, when it is the first time it gives some error we have to proceed for that one and the previous page is not opening you see that it is showing the space web page is not available you see why it is not available because in this i have not given https so when you are opening just make sure you are giving https here all right so as this is not well known certificate it is giving this error so not a problem you can proceed as i did just now lockdown it is creating the first time dashboard this is the first time I'm logging on this GUI of this firewall. And let's see how does it look like. It's taking some time, so no problem. I think it's uh, worth to wait. I'm going to close this and uh, our focus was to configure the network interfaces so i'm going to the network and we see there are multiple interfaces one to eight all right so meanwhile there is a management interface as well we can go to the device and there we can check our management interface here it is our management interface and it is having the ip address as 10.1.1 .1, which we have already configured via CLI. So you have learned one way how to configure it via CLI. Next thing I'm going to tell you that how to configure it via GUI. So I'm going to configure this interface one slash two, which is connected to this router and IP address 172.16.1.1.1. Okay. So our focus is Ethernet one slash two. So we'll click on Ethernet one slash two here. And now the name is here, comment, you want to tell something related to this, you can mention it here. Interface type, we are going to configure it as in layer three. I will tell you in the next session that what are the different modes in the interface type, like what is HA, what is virtual wire, what is layer two, but that we'll see it later on. As of now, let's focus on the layer three, all right? And uh, virtual router, I'm going to take it in a default okay security zone i'm going to configure nothing as of now just leave it none or even in the virtual router you can leave it as a none not a problem all right go to the ipv4 add ip address here 10 dot not 10 dot our ip address was 172.16.1.1 right so I'm going to configure that 172.16.1.1.1 and then you can give directly as a slash 24. Here one thing to note, if you do not give this slash 24 and you give IP address like this, by default, it is taking subnet as slash 32. All right. So just make sure you always give the IP address as slash 24. Hit OK. here and once you do it don't forget to commit the changes because whatever you done did it right now there's nothing in the effect and uh, commit changes made by me that is admin or it's you if you you are in the production environment use your user that uh, commit changes done by your user only Perfect. So that's how it is done. Our interface is configured and it is up now. So this is it on this. On the next session, I'm going to come up with the zone that what are the zones configuration and what are these virtual routers. All right. Uh, till that. Bye bye. See you soon in the next session.